So if you have seen my uh, uh, last video, you would know that I had surgery recently and uh, I'm still in the recovery process. Uh, but I wanted to talk to you today about what I went through and hopefully you know, shed some light on an issue that I'm not seeing being talked about a lot. Hopefully this can help you or someone you know. Gotta hydrate. I had uh, testicular torsion. Uh, first things first, if you don't know what that is, it's when your testicles are twisted or one testicle is strangling the other. So based on that description, you should know that it's really, really painful. It's something that's not being talked about a lot. I'm guessing a lot of people will not be eager to share their experiences because uh, a lot of times guys who go through this sort of stuff they end up losing a testicle or two. And just to clarify, you know, I did not lose a testicle. Uh, they were both in place. Thanks be to God. <laughs> uh, it was due to the fact that I got to the emer emergency room on time. So the doctors were able to operate before anything uh, of that nature was needed. All right, so what are the symptoms of testicular torsion? So. Uh, some of the symptoms include back pain, swelling of the testicle, it will hurt like hell. So what happened to me was that I've been feeling the pain for some time, for some years actually. My case was one of those rare instances where uh, the testicles would actually twist and then untwist occasionally. So. I wasn't paying the, 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 the pain any mind. I wasn't, I wasn't giving in to uh, the pain. I'd take some painkillers, I'd ice it, and I'd try to walk it off and stuff, and uh, I'd be okay. So my girlfriend told me to go to the ER to get it checked out, and I didn't listen. So uh, it's been something that has been getting increasingly painful over the last few months. One morning, I got ready for work, and on my way to the door, uh, the pain started. Usually, when it starts, I'm unable to move. I'm unable to do anything much more than uh, just lay down in ice and, uh, until it stops. So this time, it was way more severe than before, right? Um, it lasted longer, and it was, it was just a nightmare. So what happened? was that um, I got rushed to the ER. Well, there the doctors were like, all right, based on what's happening, we need to operate on you right now. I signed the consent form and went into surgery. Uh, upon coming out, because I was prepared to actually lose a testicle, so I woke up and uh, they were like, it wasn't as severe as we initially thought. Uh, we were able to just uh, untwist it, sew it back into place, 
So everything looks fine, it should be good. Three days later, I was removing the initial bandage as I was informed by the doctors at the time and I noticed that I was bleeding a lot through the wound and uh, I've been feeling really weak for the entire day but I didn't pay it any mind. It's my first time doing surgery so you know I started to panic so much that we end up ended up calling uh, the police and they escorted us to the hospital because I thought I was beating out. I thought I was gonna die. I went back in, uh, everything seemed to be fine. But still no information from the doctors when I asked, they rather seemed annoyed when I asked questions, so I began to do my own research. I don't like going to websites and reading upon symptoms and stuff like that. I'd like to actually see a video of someone who has actually gone through the, si the situation before and then I can actually, you know, formulate an opinion based on their experience and what I'm going through, see how we correspond and uh, see how best I can relate to what they've been through and I can use that for my, what I'm going through right now. I ended up having to learn most of the stuff firsthand and also get uh, just some basic information about surgeries and the recovery process, uh, the healing of the incision and stuff like that from my mother and my grandmother who are both registered nurses. So basically after surgery you will be bleeding a lot, a lot, for maybe a week or two. You'll have to change your bandages often, but not too often, so two to three days. You won't be able to do a lot of physical activities when you're recovering uh, for the first four to six weeks, which is what it usually takes. So let's take it easy. Rest, take the medication that the doctor has prescribed for you, uh, eat properly, so that can help with the recovery process. Rest, rest is very important when you're recovering from any surgery. It helps the uh, it helps to speed up the recovery process. It helps to make it easier for your body to not focus on everything that you're doing and just focus on healing. So if you feel any of the symptoms that I have mentioned earlier, go to the emergency room right away. Like being serious. If you wait uh, a couple of hours, you may end up losing a testicle or two. I honestly knew something was wrong. I didn't know how serious it was, but I had this opportunity to train with a Premier League team in my country, right? And I'm not going to turn that down. So I was taking painkillers uh, to just train and stuff and I thought that once the season was over or once I got signed then I'd go and check it out in which that was a very bad idea. It's best to know what's happening so that it doesn't happen at a, a time that will be more inconvenient for you uh, because I'm thinking what if I was you know somewhere far away far from a hospital and then it happened. I could have ended up losing a testicle that wouldn't, that wouldn't be nice. So I would recommend to get that uh, checked out as soon as possible. And uh, as I said, this is just uh, to show some awareness in case, you know, you go through this or your husband or your boyfriend or your child or your son, your father, anyone that you may know go through this. So. That's my story. So I've been trying to post like every other week because um, it's not like I don't have time. I've been trying to post like...
I've been trying to post like every other week. Uh, it's not that I don't have time to be posting more frequently. Uh, however, I've been spending time just trying to get my uh, mental state and prepared for everything that I'm going through and everything that is to come. And so I didn't want to do any videos uh, while being in that state of mind. However, the closer I get to full recovery is the more active I'll be. So I'll have more content to post. Uh, so uh, definitely you should see me posting more in the near future. Uh, if you want to see more content, just uh, like, subscribe and share. And you know, welcome to the Eaton community. Welcome to the family. Follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram and Twitter at uh, Erlan Lambert 10, as in 10. And remember, it's E10 Football Elite. Live Irie, be great.